Hello guys, it's me, Custom Name, and I'm back with another video. And today in this video, I'm starting my new series called Mindplex Ins and Outs. In this series, I'll be interviewing staff members, YT ranks, leadership team, and maybe some devs. Hint, hint. Um, and today, I'm actually with X Nibs, who is a Mindplex moderator. I will be asking him eight questions to get to know him more. He's a very nice person and I think you will enjoy this. Um, you should definitely go and friend him on Engine, Mindplex Forums. I'll put his link in the yes. description. And feed, if, feed my ego. And if you got a YouTube um, channel, do you have a YouTube channel, X Nibs? Uh, yeah, with an amazing total of zero videos on it, but I may upload something on it soon if I can um, yeah. get a good internet connection. <laughs> I'll put I'll put your YouTube link in the description for you guys to check out. So um, I'm going to kick this off straight away with the first question, which is: When did you first join Mindplex, and when w did you become a staff member? Okay, so I first joined uh, Mindplex a while back, all the way back in 2013. Obviously, some people have been a lot longer than you, or me, sorry, you, for example. Uh, but it was still quite a while ago, and um, I remember applying for staff, I think it was in March 2015. I then went on to be staff for about five months then, and then I applied again for trainee uh, this year in March once again, and uh, I've been staff for about <laughs> two months and three days. Hmm. Um, so why do you want to be start off on Mindplex? Okay, so I had been, so obviously it had been uh, roughly two years, I have been playing in Mindplex for a while, uh, I've been part of their community for a while and I thought I really wanted to like advance it and go a little bit further and I thought of well, what, better, what better way to do that than to become a staff member, it seemed like something fun. Uh, it's something, I have been a staff member before on like far smaller servers and trust me, being a Mindplex staff member is nothing like that, but it's like it was so much more enjoyable, and it gives you like a whole new level of interaction with the community, and it's just something really cool that you should try. What was your reaction to getting trainee, or what was once called helper, both times? Well, um, as you, as you know, the first time, uh, this also sounds a bit strange. I f almost fell in a river. Now, this is because. Um, I live in like a converted mill. I live in an apartment um, and next to it there's like a kind of like a river that runs adjacent to it uh, for whatever reason and it had been raining the night before and uh, so everything was quite slippy it was quite muddy and there's like quite a steep bank uh, down to the river so I um, back then we didn't have training acceptance parties so I literally just woke up in the morning not expecting anything because I, I, when I wrote the application I just kind of did it as like a thing like yeah why not I'd written so many applications before that and it hadn't been accepted um, that I just thought, yeah, this probably isn't going to happen. Uh, Jira has denied my applications about seven times now. Definitely don't see it happening. Uh, I woke up in the morning and I saw it had been accepted. I got, got so excited, I ran outside. And then just as I was walking back in, I slipped and I almost fell down the bank to the river. So that was uh, fun. And then the second time, uh, probably not as uh, exciting since it already happened to me before, but this time I was at the training acceptance party. And um, I, this one was different because the recruiters said in the trainee acceptance party, we aren't going to be accepting any more trainees, and, and they hadn't said my name. So I thought, well, yeah, that's it now. I, have, I was been accepted. So I turned off my phone, because I was listening with my phone on TeamSpeak, and just went to bed, because it it's quite late for me then. Uh, I needed some sleep, because I had exams coming up the next morning. And um, I woke up the next morning to find out they had been accepted, and they, they actually went on to announce a few more people. Uh, so I think I was just generally really excited, but I didn't have time to celebrate by falling into a river because I had to go to school. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how that happened that time. So I know you've been staffed twice, as you just said. Yeah. Um, what teams have you actually been in and what have you done in those teams? Okay, I'll try and keep this brief and to the point because there have been a few. So the first time around, uh, when I was helper or trainee, um, I got into reports patrol right back when Jared or the floor ran the team and then closely followed by Wanderer so quite a while back and uh, I did roughly 500 reports then which was a massive contribution to me getting promoted to moderator and then when I became moderator I think in the second week uh, well tons of stuff happened then uh, I applied for recruitment I applied for modcord even got an interview for modcord 
Unfortunately, didn't get in, but I think that was probably a good thing because I'm not sure if it would have been the team I would have liked. But I did get into event assistants, observational assistants, and team speak staff, which definitely made up for that, and that was all in one week. So, event assistants was really fun. I made some events of myself and I hosted them uh, with the help of a few of pe people like True Squid, who is now actually a senior mod. And we did something called the Riddle Houses, which is really cool to do on TeamSpeak. Uh, I also helped host events, that kind of thing. Uh, then there's Observational Assistance, which was a thing a while back. It doesn't exist anymore because we had something called Trainee Boot Camp a while ago, which is basically for trainees that they were, they were okay on the trial. They don't quite warrant a demotion, but they just need a little bit more helping along before they get to Moderator. Mm -hmm. We no longer have that, so it, it, the, rank doesn't, the team doesn't exist anymore. But I basically helped, um, I think it was Dean, Dean TM, who is now, uh, well, quite a prestigious uh, training management member. And um, I helped him observe his people in training bootcamp, which was quite quite fun. And then I, the last team is TeamSpeak staff. Um, I was in the first ever batch of TeamSpeak staff, which was super exciting. Um, and now, actually, in the second time of staff, I've managed to get back into reports patrol, back into TeamSpeak staff. And uh, hopefully, I might be able to get back into EA at some point. Hmm. So do you have an idea of applying for a senior mod team this time around? Or? Yeah, definitely. I definitely want to get into community management because I have uh, a few friends there that are like the kindest people ever. Even if uh, True Squid is a bit annoying, he is still one of the friendliest people around. And uh, G Geo Vanna or Geo is also extremely nice. And they've been really nice to me and um, they've been helping me see if I can get back into, uh, or not back into, but uh, trying to apply for community management or event assistance. So CM, definitely something I want to go for because it's just really fun. Uh, that's closely followed by quality assurance because although I'm not sure I like the book fixing aspect, although I can do it, um, being creative, coming up with ideas, making things more interesting, that kind of thing, it's just really enjoyable. Um, so I'd like to do that as well. So. What is your favourite game on Minecraft? Okay, so my favourite game is uh, Dominate or Champions. I like to alternate between uh, TDM and Dominate. I don't really like CTF or Clans. I was into Clans for a bit, but I kind of just kind of went off it afterwards. It got a little bit tedious after building something up. I need to have it brought down by uh, people that were, had far better things than us. Um, but I originally I did play Mindstrike constantly. That was like that was like the only game I played. That's why I have a somewhat high level. That's the only reason I have level 48 is because I played my strike constantly. But um, after trying to play it again, after not playing for a while and realizing how awful I was, uh, I couldn't play a game without being reminded by other people that I used to be good at the game. And that just for some reason really got on my nerves. So I started playing Dominate. And that actually just became a really nice change. I really, I never really saw the interest in Dominate or the appeal. But after I started playing it for a while, it, it became a lot more fun. There's definitely a, cost, uh, a competitive aspect to it. Obviously, there's like the league and that kind of thing. I did try and get into that, but um, I'm still looking for a somewhat decent team. So yeah. Okay. Um, what was your best moment on the staff team? I mean, the best moment probably is always just getting into accepting into something else. It's like it's like that feeling of getting trainee all over again because it, it feels good to know that someone has read your application has thought, yeah, this person will be good for this, and I'd like them on my team. That's just a generally good feeling. But um, I, I know you know this, but what, coming back to the staff Oscars, um, I honestly didn't think I was going to win anything. The only thing I could have thought I could possibly win was the smelliest or fattest trainee, because apparently that was something people thought I was, despite not knowing who I was in real life. But that's the only thing I was getting voted for. So I thought, okay, cool. Uh, but I hadn't realized a lot of people have been voting me for hardworking trainee. So when it came to the staff Oscars, um, they announced that the winner was uh, Call Me Cass or Sass. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. Um, but they had actually been promoted to moderator uh, maybe a few days before. So at the time, uh, I, I was second. So I like to say that I won anyway, even though I didn't technically. But, you know, <laughs> that was a pretty good feeling to know that community members appreciated things that I've been doing just as a trainee. And one last thing is, what has been your most inspirational moment on Mindflex? Like, who has inspired you? Most inspirational? Hmm. Mm. That's a tricky one. Um, I... I think... I can't, I can't say there's just one person to that. I'd have to say there are multiple people. Um, I think there are so many people that have managed to rise through uh, the ranks and do so much good thing, so many good things on Mindflex. 
in such a short amount of time. Like, there are so many people I know, like, take Sami to do, for instance. He resigned, but when he came back, he worked so hard that he managed to go all the way to Administrator and bring a really popular game into Mind Place. Like, a lot of people play, play Clans. And then there's also just people that I know more closely, people like uh, True Squid. He managed to get into community management really quickly, and he is really popular now. He does some really cool things within events. It's just people like this, they show that you can do anything within any period of time. And I think I'd have to say those are the most inspirational people here. Okay, so um, that's that's the end of um, the episode, but I hope to see you that admin rank soon or oh yeah, in the future. Sure. Because yeah, come on, yeah, come on are, right off. Yeah, you are you are very um, friendly, I'd say. <laughs> so um, I think you'll go far in the community. I think a lot Thank of people you. like you. But um, glad yeah. to glad to talk <laughs> to you, mate. Good talk to you too. See you soon. See ya. Make sure you like the video and go and check out his description well, his links in the description. Peace.